If you're looking to create a PowerPoint in an APA format, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you everything you need to know, so follow me. So let's start with the very first slide. Now you can see I've set everything up here and I'm going to break it down. The first thing you need to know is that your very first slide, which will be your title slide, needs to have the following information. First of all, it needs to have the title of your PowerPoint presentation, which is the very top line over here. And then it also needs to have the author, which is then in the second line. And hereafter, you can see this is the course name. And then you will see here is the presenter or the coordinator and then you need a publish date okay now you can take this exact format and of course just use your own information but this is what the title page will look like the next thing is the body of your powerpoint presentation now being in the ppa format there's a few things that you need to understand first of all verbatim quotations paraphrases images or anything else like that whether it's a document or even a video that you're adding in, needs to have a in-text citation, okay? And this is what it will look like. And as I have just put in over here, that this is the in-text citation. If you're using Microsoft Clip Art, you will not need to add a citation, all right? So that's free Microsoft Clip Art images. There's no citation there. The very last slide that you will have, and um, you can see I only have three slides as an example, but of course, in between one and three, you can have as many as you need to complete your presentation. But on this very last slide, you will have references, and within your references, you will list all your references in this format. So you will have name and date, and then also the link or the reference as to where that information is coming from. And it's as simple as that. You can now format your PowerPoint presentation